So it is time to play with more components. So the first major components which we are going to talk about is list. List are one of the most popular element which are used in UI5 applications. And we are going to create a very simple list and we are going to use sap.m.list to create our list object. So as you can see in this list, we have a list of animals and in the list we only have one item. And the one item which we have is having the first item as a dinosaur and the description of the item is mountains. So there are three steps involved to create this simple list. And this will be generic throughout the creation of the list. So even if you are creating a complex list as well, so these three steps will remain same. There will be little bit variance in this, but this will be the steps which will be the core part of creation of the list. So the first step is to create a standard list item. So once we have a standard list item, then those will be representing the items which are present in the list. The second step will be to create the sap.m.list. Once we create the sap.m.list, we can put the standard item inside the list. When the list is shown on the page, then it will be containing the item inside it. Exactly the way you can see here. So dinosaur is a list item which is present inside animal list. And now if we see the third step, the third step is providing the data. You can notice here that in the step one, we have this curly braces and backslash. So they represent data binding. So if you try to set the model with this JSON data, then the final result will be this list. Now let's see in this program how we implemented all the steps. So now let's go to our Cloud9 ID and explore sap.m.list. So we are in our Cloud9 editor. It's having a basic framework to start developing our UI5 app. So this is UI5 application bootstrapping process. So this is loading core libraries from OpenUI5 at runtime. And we are going to use SAP Blue Crystal with sap.m libraries. So now let's try to write our UI5 code. In this application, we are going to use our sap.m.app and sap.m.page as well. So let's start by first creating the page and the app. So to create the page, I have to write var o page equal to new sap.m dot page and I'm going to pass parameter here and the parameter can be title and list page and I can pass the content. Now we have not created any content still now but we will be leaving it blank. I'm just preparing the frame for other things to be put on. So let me also create this app object sap.m.app. So we'll add the page here, pages, and then I will page is added here. And then I will directly place this app at content place at, I can say content. And we have to also create this content because it doesn't exist in our development. So it will be inside our body. Dev id equal to content. And that's it. We have the page and app ready. Now we are going to work on our list. So the first thing which we are going to do is we are going to create the data. O data and we are going to say it's an object. And the two keys which will be involved here are the first is name. You can have the keys inside 
the double quotes or without any double quotes, they will not make any difference. So now the value should always be enclosed in a double quotes if it's a string and it should be written as it is if it's an integer. So integer will be like two and strings will be like two. And boolean are also written as they are without the enclosure. So you can say true in the JSON data format. So now let's add the name. The name is dinosaurs. So we are going to add this dinosaur in the list. Hope the list is big enough to fit in. So we are going to add the second key place and they live in mount. So the data is ready. We should also create the model. So let's create the model. New SAP dot M dot model JSON dot JSON model. And we are going to set the data O model O model dot set data as O data. Now it's time to create the list item or item and I'm just going to add item one because then you can also add multiple items list item and then I will be using the title It will be showing the title of the list item and I will be putting the name which will be replaced by dinosaurs. The other thing which I will add is description. Description. So the description will be containing the place which is going to be mountain once we have then our data binding properly. So these are done. Now we are going to create a simple list and we are going to put the standard list item inside the list. So let's me set up m.list. We are going to create header text as animal and items as it will be a square bracket because there can be an array of items which can be passed and all the items will be present inside the list so so i'm going to create item one here i'm going to put the item one inside the list and now that's all seems the final step will be putting this list inside the page. I will correct the formatting, the program, everything seems fine. Let's try to run this simple list program and there's an error. So let's see in the browser what is the issue which we are running into. Inspect and JSON of undefined. So we have done some mistake here in JSON model. I think it's, so if you see what is the error we have, okay, we have defined the model as sap.m.model, but this is actually sapui.model. So let's try to refresh this page after saving the cloud editor and we have the list but we do not have the data so we are setting the model to the list we have not set the model to the list so let's try to also do that o list dot set model and then we are going to pass the model o model Excellent. I think this will be the steps 
which will create our list as we wanted it. We have one item. So this is a simple list which we created. And um, in the next section, we are going to see how to make this list more generic because you cannot really make each individual item and then put it in the list because sometimes you don't know how many items are going to be present. So we are going to see how to make it more generic in the next section.